Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Rising Angels Reborn. So, last time we left off, um, wait, what? Last time we left, where we last left off, uh, wow. <laughs> Already my English isn't working. Uh, this is gonna be a long episode, isn't it? Um, yeah, all stuff happened. <laughs> oh man, um, Let's get back into it. My thoughts drift to a quote that has stuck with me from a young age. Oh, from a, yeah. It is only a step from boredom to disillusionment, which leads naturally to self-pity, which in turn ends in chaos. Ugh, that's a creepy quote. Despite our sense of urgency, our trails after the elusive ship and any potential pursuers have again been thwarted by several red herring ions. I fear that boredom and a feeling of being downtrodden is taking hold of the crew. I wish I did not secretly agree with them. How could I best explain the past few days? We drop in, find absolutely nothing, and have to return to our starting point to try again. Our choices in this maze have led us nowhere other than empty tracks of boredom. Our food seems to be disappearing faster than estimated. Everything from oxygen strippers to our engines seem to be on the fritz. Kylie looks worse than first by the hour. Commander seems to be holding strong, thankfully. She isn't allowing us to abandon our search just yet. Everyone else, however. This is stupid. <laughs> You've said that for the 15th time. This meal, Kika. Meal? This is right, it's with soy sauce. That's no meal. That's borderline starvation. This is still, still two solid meals a day. Even though it's not very tasty, it's at least filling. More filling than the blind search in the dark. All I've been doing lately is search for clues that might tip me off to who's working against me on the ship. Or it seems to have spread that I'm on the watch over, and they seem content to just lie in wait. Err. <laughs> I think we have two very different ideas of what constitutes a male. It has to last, otherwise we won't be eating anything. That's the point, I'm arguing. Sheesh, open your ears, we don't need to be out here. What would you should suggest we do? Just let the Empire get their hands on the weapon? First off, we don't even really know if there is a weapon. What proof do we have other than the ramblings of some data pad? They could have left that out there to derail us. My initial briefing said that there was an important artef artifact out there. Right, intelligence has never been wrong before. I don't like that attitude. <laughs> I don't like this whole situation. My second point is, why us? Why don't we just go back and get more help? If this thing exists and is such a threat, we should be gathering as much help as possible. There's no time. Oh, but there's plenty of time to chase our tails blindly. Some of us don't have tails to chase. You know what I mean. Good morning, Sol. Morning. Lieutenant Star, you've been ordered to complete this mission. That should be enough. And if I think my life's worth a little bit more... Then you're in the wrong profession. It's, it's, it's no place for a timid house cat. Key. Yeah. What brings you here this morning, soul? Not just a torment poor Kika, I hope. I'm getting some food for Faye. The doctor couldn't be bothered to provide it to his patient. Because she shouldn't be eating solid food yet. Because he's a lazy good-for-nothing. How's she doing? Asking for solid food is a good sign. He's still not ready for the interrogation I think you have planned. Who's said anything about an interrogation? I know you too well. You better not be trying to grill my minion. <laughs> what the heck? I'll do what my job demands of me. Sorry, Natalie, but I have to agree with Kika on this one. When she isn't sleeping most of the day is when you can ask your questions. So, never. Pretty much. <laughs> uh, how might as well bring Zuri her breakfast? You, you all are depressing me. That truth sucks. That's why we should just accept it and go home. Abandoning your, abandoning your. Oh, oh my! I'm having trouble saying abandoning. Abandoning. The. Abandoning your duty in the moment of need. And I was starting to think better of you. <laughs> I'm going to visit my minion. Fine, if it's 
stuff through mindless babble, you can come along. It's not mindless, you, just, you two just don't understand the necessities of going home. You're just a big a pig of fa- You're just as big of a pig as fa- There we go. Come on. Wanna come with me, Alphonse? I think Zuri would like to company. Thanks for your kind offer, but uh, I visited her when we- Bleh, I visited her when I woke her up. I gathered the impression that she wanted to spend some time alone with you. Oh, what for? She has something she wants to show you. It's quite special to her. Something she can, that can tie up some of these loose threads? No, but I think you'll enjoy it just the same. Might as well. I think everyone complained about how this is a waste of time is eating at my patients. Someone might have no problem breaking it out, but I would rather not play the rank card over the devotion to duty one. Once we find it, I'm sure Kika's tone will change. She's just trying to hide her sorrow right now, and venting her frustrations on the mission is the easiest way. The cost of driving me crazy. <laughs> Alphonse laughs at my sorrow, but I don't hold it against him. The whole operation is feeling like a joke now. The blind leading the blind through a minefield. I hope Zuri has something pleasant to get my mind off this nightmare. Hey Zuri, I'm here with lunch, breakfast, Brunch, whatever time of the day it is. Hold back for a second, mate, to make sure no flying moves are about to remove my head from my shoulders. Once my sa safety match is unsure, a clear field to, to enter, I step in. Curled on the bed with her tail wrapping around her is my friend Lee Dreamin. I'm still not sure how I pronounce it. Um, a sad smile tugs at her lips as she stares at her data pad forlornly. Something wrong? I can stop back later. She pulls herself up, patting the spot on the bed next to her. I was looking at some old, uh, pictures of when, of when I was a wi still a wildling. I thought that said windling for a second. <laughs> oh, what? When we aren't really hashlings anymore, but not quite enough to join a society and be named a Dreamon is considered to be a wildling. I've been meaning you to ask you about that. Are your first and last name both Zuri? Nope. Zuri is Zuri. You only have one name? That sounds like it'd be confusing. Not at all. When we become adults, we are given a name that is ours and ours alone. I'm the one and only Zuri. You must have a very small population. We are a lot older and less spawny than humans, that's for sure. <laughs> what does that mean? Can't help with the... What the heck? Oh. Okay, started to use a weird accent there. I can't help it that my species are a bunch of rabbits. Eh? No mammals that breed incredibly quickly. Small, fluffy, cute. Nope, doesn't ring a bell. <laughs> Guess it doesn't matter. Uh, the point is that humans breed quickly in the grand scheme of things, and there are a lot of us out there. You all are weird. Anyway, I wanted to show you some of the pictures I found. She hands me the data pad. It's almost remarkable the amount of scuffing on the screen, the dings in the case, and the way the screen, screen seems to flicker. Sorry, this data pad's ancient. Where'd you find it? I found it in a bush when I was wandering through a trader camp years ago. Neg... Neggies? Neggies? I don't even know how you pronounce this. Um, fixed it up and got it working for me. He's that one. She changes the image to a scrawny dreamon with dark blue hair and a th... a uh, stick... Bleh. Ah. Uh, English. Thick stubby tail. His gaze seems to be staring past the camera even though he's looking straight at it. Niggies was al Niggies was always really good at uh, making broken things work. He'd tinker with any sort of band in electronics he found. Suppose it was fate. What was? Someone had uh, wired a bomb inside a supply crate of ours. He we found. He barely had time to scream for anyone to run before it went off. That's awful. Who would do something like that? Warlord thought it was a fun game to play. It was rather common, and we were usually careful, but we hadn't had anything to eat in days. If Negis hadn't helped us out of it, we all would have died when he went for it. Sounds like terrible, uh, horrible child rearing. No guiding authority, no protection, no education. But we are a lot tougher and determined for it. Those who can't survive don't. It's sad, it's depressing, but it is our traditions. It's not like it was all bad. You learned about a lot about trading, survival, and working as a team. 
My stomach was growling. The others were there to help carry me on. To carry on. <laughs> Here it is. This is the only one that has the most of our clutch in it. A group a group of five Dreamon crowd together in a picture barely taken. Wait. What? Taken and beautiful. How did I... I don't even know how I did that. Uh, taken in beautiful grassy hills. All but the one I think is Negis are barely half my height. They look happy. Their clothes are rugged. Their clothes are rugged leather. Their faces covered in dirt and grime. The diminished amount of food evident in their bodies, but all of them share the same hopeful smiles I, I see on Zuri's face today. That's Iril. He was our clutch's fighter. Whenever we were in danger, he would fling himself headfirst into it. Iril caused us a lot of problems, but there was never a truer friend. She points to the smallest of the group, a fiery redhead with a body marred with scars and bits of his tail and broad wings missing. Even from the picture, I can see the energy and fight pouring from him. What happened to his ear? <laughs> Funny story about that one, but I promised I'd never tell him it again. He's now a diplomat at, to the... He's a diplomat. What the? Okay, people changed, I guess. He's now a diplomat to the Aurelian Republic. Still can't picture him wearing anything other than that tunic. The back with the pale green hair is Jedian. Jedian? I don't even know. Uh, he rarely spoke much, but he always seemed to have the right words to defuse the situation. Jedian was our diplomat, not Aril. He used to make these really yummy wheat biscuits. Jedian didn't make them very often, but he always made me want to celebrate our hatching day. Used to? He disappeared a few weeks after this was taken. Jedian had a a contract who used to trade us wheat for scrap wheat we'd found in old ruins. One day he made, went to make the trade and never came back. I'm sure he's still out there somewhere. I like to, th to think so. This was during a time when we, were, when there was a fashion on Celestia for bags made from the wings of Dreamons, so we suspected. Oh, that is messed up. I'm sure he's fine. Maybe he got kidnapped by a slave trader or something. Oh, yeah, that's perfectly fine. Ugh. Y yeah. I'm, I'm sure he's still out there. I think about his friends. Uh, uh, uh. What am I supposed to say other than weak platitudes? Realistically, he probably was killed to make some snobby rich lady a nice handbag. Disgusting as the thought is, what sort of jerk would I be to say that? Can you guess who this is? Kylie? Nope, I might have been small, but I wasn't that small. I think Kylie would be a better guess than Zuri. The girl in the picture doesn't strike me as the Zuri I know today. Her starter's her stature is really smaller than Kylie. Her tail is thin and whip-like. Zuri's cropped hair is much longer, falling almost to her knees. Uh, I can count the number of ribs in her chest, so prominent they stick out. But the strangest thing of all is that she looks so meek, timid. Clutching to a taller girl with long golden hair and a air of grace and nobility. Zuri on the hand, other hand looks like a scared mouse. What do you think? That was cute, right? You look so... so... weak. I was thinking timid and meek. Little Zuri's adorable, though. She was happy, but absolutely worthless. I don't know what part of that sentence worries me more. Aren't you happy? I could get the, out of the scramped room again. Scramped room again. I'd be a lot happier. I'll go yell at the commander again. What else? When I picked up the mantle of being a warrior, I realized that the universe isn't as black and white as I thought it'd be. Good and evil are hard to distinguish sometimes. How are you for doing the right thing? I'm not ha unhappy. I'm just confused. I want to go home. Not you as well. It took a lot of courage for me to finally admit that. I've been thinking about it since we got back from the camp. I'm proud that I was able to say it. Little Zuri would never have had the courage to admit it. She'd just have cowered and had to be pulled along. Why? You know we have to do this. It's just something I feel in my gut. It's telling me that we should just go home for now and forget about it. Kiko gave me the logical standpoint. Zuri's giving the spiritual side. This is going to be dangerous. I feel it. Putting the lives of this crew into hardship and risk. But there's no way I'm letting this mystery go unsolved. If this device turns out to be a super weapon, 
then it'll be worth it. The lives of a few versus the lives of an entire world. If it isn't, then if this is a wild goose chase. We have to do this. It's our duty to what do whatever we can to protect to protect the innocent people of the Katajian directorship. Directorship. That is a weird. Um from any and all threats to their safety. I'm a little unsure my, of myself, to be honest, but I'm sure of that. When I was commissioned, I swore to protect the citizens of my homeland and the troops under my command. I've got a bad feeling about this, but that doesn't mean I can shirk my duty in an in our hour of need. I'll need you there with me, Zuri. I can't do this without you. Don't lie. You could do this without me. No, I need you because... Oh, well. <laughs> I mean, I think you all know what choice I'm picking. But... Just because I'm pretty sure that... One of them will lead to a different ending. Let's go ahead and save. Because we're friends. We're in this together, thick or thin. But my effort to cheer her up falls flat. Try as I might, Zuri seems to have lost that flicker of happiness. Sound just like her. Even though she doesn't say it, her eyes tell me who she's talking about. Zuri's emerald green eyes are dim as she goes back staring at the picture. Was she? Akrel. She was our leader. She was the most important person in my life. She made me happy and whole. I could ask more to help understand Zuri's past a little more, but the hurt in her eyes wards me away. No, what Zuri needs now isn't to interrogate her, but someone just to just be there for her. The food's going cold, but we don't move more. Menistic by as Zuri fights tears and sniffles. Sir, tell me about her. You would have liked her. Definitely liked her more than me. When I was useless and weak, she was steadfast and strong. But protecting me, I always felt safe. I was so weak, so pitiful. Monsters would come for us, and all I could ever do was hide. She and Ariel would go out there and beat them to a pulp. She would make the bandits leave us alone. I got kidnapped by a bunch of slavers. They threw me into this cage where I couldn't even see the light. I thought I was going to die in that hell until I saw the sun in her face again. She was a true warrior, but when I was nothing but a burden, I was so stupid, I could be with it. You weren't worthless. All I could do was patch up her stuff, and she loved my flute. Every night, she'd always have me play songs on it for everyone. It made the nights not feel quite so long or dark. Your beautiful smile and cheery laugh. I really thought I was helping everyone. I thought I. What happened? I got her killed. Sorry, I'm. Sorry. If I wouldn't have been such a coward, if I would have stopped and stayed with her. You don't know that. You don't know that? What? That shouldn't be a question. What happened? I was gathering berries one day when I stumbled into a pack of these flesh-eating spires. I screamed for help and she came running. If I would have just kept my big mouth shut, I need to run to let her fight and protect them for me. Oh, protect them from me. And I let her. I just ran away because I couldn't do anything. Never again. I'm never going to run away when someone needs help. That's why I'm staying here, even though I want to run. She might be my friend, but... I have more than just you to protect. Everyone on this ship needs my protection. Just like Akrel was always fighting for the well-being of our clutch. Zuri, your music didn't kill her. Not being a real warrior didn't kill her. She died trying to protect you. I knew you wouldn't understand. Because it's absolutely bonkers. <laughs> You're bonkers. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, her best friend. I can't imagine the amount of pain and loss that Zuri went through. Akrel was her sister, if not in blood, but in name. Still, it's no reason to blame herself for what was essentially an accident. Akrel cared for Zuri as much as Zuri cared for Akrel. I wouldn't let my family die if I could have protected them. But Zuri can't see that. Maybe I can't see that either. 
we don't find something soon, there might be nothing left of my family. I need to find the stupid researcher ship. Let's agree that we're both crazy. Do you have any other pictures? Sure, there's an amazing one I took of the Emerald City in here somewhere. Zuri flips the pictures of her homeworld without a second of nostalgia. Can't blame her, the dry world seems pretty bland. Uh, one picture of what I think is a ruined wall catches my eye. What's that one? I don't know. Graffiti of some sort. Who cares? Who knows? <laughs> the glowing blue, sc blue scribbles look really familiar, though. As does the person standing beside it. Not a dream on, but looks more like a human researcher. I don't remember taking this one. Ugeez must have. He always liked to take those weird scenery pictures. No, I don't think so. Suri, when we were breaking out that undergrad data pad, did we see a picture that looked just like this? Those markings looked like the runes. Hey, wait. You gave me this picture. Remember? Remember? We were clutching yours so tight that I couldn't see it, so you gave me a copy. I did, didn't I? To the lab! <laughs> uh, I'm still... Make copies of that picture, then. I'm going to get Rasuna to let you out of this cage. No, take it. You need to get cracking on it now. You're right, but... I think I'm done rem reminiscing right now. As long as you bail me out after you're done, you can borrow it. Nothing bad is going to happen to this one. I gave me my word. That's good enough for me. Now go! Shoo! Yes! We did it! Good job, Zuri. And Zuri, keep this a secret for now. Alright. I'm not going to risk my adversary getting a step ahead of me. I'm once again in the lead of this operation. I have the truth in my hands. But as I walk out, I can see the forlorn look return to Zuri's face. Going to get her out of this cage. She might want to protect others, but I do as well. Haha! <laughs> Hope. Yes. I can't believe it. I can't believe I got my clue back. Maybe not all of them, but that's. Uh, but at least I have something to validate my existence. My lab door is unlocked. Again. Now I'm positive I locked it last night. Well, well, well. A clue given back to me and the culprit returning to the scene of, scene of the crime? Today is a good day. Whoop, didn't mean to do that. Um. Aha! Got you. Could you not yell so loudly? I can hear you perfectly fine without the volume increase. Pika. I should have known. Perhaps we've met before because we've met before and I've told you my name? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with me? How did you get in my lab? The door. Was it unlocked when you got here? No. So you broke into my lab. Is that a question that you can answer without an attitude? This is why we need to go home. Rice isn't good for your temper. <laughs> what? We're going to explain how you unlocked my door and what the hell you were doing in here. I want an answer now. Not in a week? You seem perfectly content with making us wait with no information for that long. She's dodging my questions left and right. Still, she can't leave this lab without getting past me. I will get the answers. Whatever, spy. I've got what I wanted anyway. And whatever it is isn't leaving here. Unless you can pry my brain out, too bad. I wanted the truth for myself and I found it. What? You're, you're not seriously going to pry my brain out. That's murder in case you forget. Idiot. Where's the recording? Your precious recording's on the table. I didn't break it like Zuri did. Zuri didn't break anything. Someone else did. Of course Zuri broke it. Stop lying to yourself. The evidence all points to her. Oh, is that it? You think I broke it? You broke into my lab and now... and are avoiding simple inquiries about your methods and your purpose. Yeah, I'm a tad bit suspicious. I don't have to explain myself to you. Yeah, you do. Fine. Oh, fine then. I know you've been withholding information. Uh, it's like the wording... I like the real wording of that recording. I came in here to do a little investigating on my own. Without my permission. Duh. Really? Why would I ask permission from the person I suspect is hiding critical details? Because those details are above your clearance. If I chose not to share them, that's my prerogative. That's how you kill people. I bet you knew the, about those monsters in the sand. You've crossed the line, Lieutenant. You think I'd put you all in danger without a proper warning? You Saitos are all alike. Father used to tell me stories about corruption in your organization. I'm starting to see you're all the same. 
My temper is flaring and I can see the reprimand paperwork in my mind. To think I felt bad for the girl just a few days ago. Your hunger is getting the better of you. Start minding your... What does it matter? You're going to kill us. You almost killed Faye and you haven't shown a single bit of remorse. How was I supposed to know we were walking into a pack of sand piranhas? By doing your job. I did my job. I'm sure you did. These clues, I'm starting to see what your job really is. Well, I'm starting to really hate Geeka. What are you going to do when we find this thing? You're going to just hand it over, or are you going to use it? You're going to keep it for your own purposes. <sighs> Nothing to defend yourself. I'm trying to understand how you could possibly be this dense. I've been honest since the start. You haven't bothered telling me what I want to know. It sucks when the shoe's on the other foot, doesn't it? Except I can have you court-martialed for disrupting my operations. For keeping the rest of the crew informed of what you're doing? Just because the commander chooses not to share my reports with you, doesn't mean I'm trying to kill anyone. <laughs> Whatever. Fine. Court-martial me, Major. Oh, what? Go ahead. Do it. Are you trying to challenge me? Yeah, do it. Why can't she just go ahead and dis apologize for the disrespect? Why does she want to make this a fight? I caught her breaking my into my lab, end of story. If she thinks I'm unafraid to bring any sort of secret into the light, Lieutenant Star is totally mistaken. There's nothing. I'll take her back and have her stripped of her rank. Wait. Nice try, we're not going home. Ugh. You're not as dumb as you look. Why are you so bent on ending our search for a potentially world-destroying artifact? Do you not care? What the? I care a hell of a lot more than you do. Which is why I want to leave this stupid thing lost. These searchers clearly trying to lose it in uncharted space. Why don't we let them? You think someone else is going to get it for us? Yeah, the voids of space. <laughs> My blood's boiling. She deserves to be locked up in a room far away from a place where she could interfere with my operations. This delinquency is inexcusable. Oh, and idiotly? <laughs> what? Kylie let me in. Everyone wants to know the truth you're hiding from us. Kylie, let her in? Why? She doesn't strike me as the type who would uh, wantonly break the rules. Unprofessional, but clean and squeaky. Still supports her. My dear, you mustn't let the curious attend bother you so. Ah, Colonel Nelson, can I help you with something? I would like to extend my hand to you, if you wouldn't mind. Oh, well, well, we would... That's right, we would. I think I've had enough of the flight officer's help. Officer Migi, did you uh, legally grant Lieutenant Star access to my lab? Eeeeee... Need an answer. As my might, I just can't keep the bitterness out of my tone. This operation didn't need any more wrenches chucked in. It's alright, little one. Just tell her exactly what you told me. Eh. Oh no, you must be brave, or you will be the one who's punished. Kiko forced me. He threatened to hurt me if I didn't help her. That's not conduct of a self-proclaimed hero. That's sick and disgusting. What about when my datapad dest got destroyed? Did you let her in then as well? I racked my brain for some evidence to counter the statement. It seemed legitimate from the trembling hands print bunny rabbit look. But it seems too convenient. Ika had no alibi for the first event. Her sour attitude and clear attempts at forcing an early termination to this mission don't do much to clear her name. Still, Kylie didn't have an alibi either. As enraged as Lieutenant Star's conduct, I, I am, right? Motions shouldn't convict her. This should be a situation of bad circumstances. Do I trust the hostile Kitsune who just lost her family to- or the adorable mechanic who has even soul support even though she's under the wing of a corrupted officer? I'll look into it. There's something was suspicious with Kika anyway. I think she may have known more about the attack and the death she's laying on. She did have a very nasty fight with our sweet Faye as soon as Faye woke up. What, well, really? Oh yes, quite nasty. Their relationship has been strained for a very long time. Perhaps Faye grew tired of being the Kitsune's minion? Faye never seemed too happy with the title. 
The pale, the pale-haired Lupita always strikes me as more of a lone wolf. All the more reason I, reason I need to talk with Faye. Could Kika be looking to score some revenge? That would be motive. Not unfair if I had one, but potential motive for working with the Raltons. They'd need time to develop relations. However, that trap had been uh, had to be working closely with Raltons for a while. That doesn't fit Kika without more evidence. Is something the matter? No, just thinking. Perhaps you should take a break. You don't want to get any premature wrinkles in those lovely cheeks of yours, do you? Ugh, Stan. Stop it. <laughs> He's right, Major. You're, you're really pretty. Thanks. You're adorable yourself, Major. What do you say? We've barely had a chance to talk since your arrival. While I enjoy the flattery, I have a mission and the chance of a lifetime. I don't know what dark future awaits my clue, so I need to be hasty. Wait, what? Yeah, I read that right. I'm afraid not. I'm can't stay busy. He'll pry the question, and he'll pry and question what I'm up to. If he's the culprit. He'll try to raid my lab. If he isn't, he could spill the beans to my other suspect, Kika. What would you say if I offered you a nice juicy steak instead of that dry rice you had for dinner? You look quite famished, if you don't mind me saying so. You have what? Surely you grow me meager of rice and limited amounts of synth food. Would you not care to partake in a real meal with myself and my little friend? The Colonel cooks really good food, Natalie. Join us. But aren't we rationing right now? I don't recall seeing anything of the sort on the menu. Of course you wouldn't. You wouldn't have it if it were. So you're stealing from ship stores? No, no, no. They just never made it onto the inventory sheet. Nobody will miss them, except for you if you refuse this generous offer. Come, um, you could use a good meal. Is this what happened to the medicine Apollo needed? It just never made the official numbers. I don't know what you're talking about, my dear. Little Faye got her medicine and is recovering from that venom. Yeah, the venom. Don't tip your hand, Natalie. You can't trust him. He's just as suspect as Kika right now. More so since Kika seems to at least have positive moments. You expect me to turn a blind eye to this in exchange for food? I expect nothing. I would not offer this to you if I did not think you were an amicable missile. Saito. That was a bribe. For what? Bribe is such a nasty word. We just want to be your friend. It's my idea. We wanted to spend some time hanging out and thought this would be a good uh, present to break the ice. It's a very rude to turn down a gift. Please, won't you join us? I've got to go visit Faye. I can't stay for a meal. That's all right. We brought our gift with us, Kylie. Kylie extends a small container full of cube steak bits. The meat's bas basted in herbs and I, what I assume is steak sauce of this kind. My stomach gurgles in anticipation, but to accept a bribe, I swore when I started to be this. I started this to be an officer who has morals. I can't swing my stance when my stomach dictates. Dic bleh, dictates. Bleh, English. I have my pride and honor to think about. Maybe some other Saito would be take it, but I'm an officer with a sense of pride in her duty. I must decline this. Theft of government well, goods, especially when we're rationing, is most definitely wrong. But... But nothing. If you wanted to give me a gift, you would uh, take what you have... Uh, Take what you have and put it in the ship stores. After all the praises from Soul, I expected better of you. I I'm sorry. I turned the chew out the colonel for his part in this, but I stopped short when I see the icy glare and sick smile on his face. He's a predator ready to strike. I'm sorry, Kylie, my dear. Why? You intend to report this, don't you, Major? Your honor dictates it. That's right. Then, I am very sorry, my compassionate mechanic. Why? Because uh, your sweet gift to the Major is technically fraud and th fraud and theft. You've been stealing from the state and smuggling unauthor unauthorized goods aboard a military craft. The Katajian Space Force highly frowns upon that, and uh, even if you did it with the best intentions. But, 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 but. No buts, I'm afraid. What you've done is highly illegal. 
Natalie reports you. Uh, he'll be looking forward to years at Maxwell Prison. But everyone was so happy. I was doing good for everyone. I know, my sweet girl, but those who follow the rules do not have compassion for those who would break them. Even for the best of reasons. Best of reasons? Everyone else is suffering. Is everyone? It pains me to say, but I think everyone on this ship has profited from highly smuggling. What are you threatening? Oh, no threat. I'm just stating that uh, our young Hobbin should go to jail. Others might be investigated as well. I know one person on the ship who loved receiving gifts and coin stakes from Kylie. Investigation might put more than one person in jail. The bastard. <laughs> Please, I, I don't want to go to jail. I just wanted to help people. Everyone was so happy. They were happy, Kylie. They were. And they still can be. Isn't that right, Natalie? Put the blame on Kylie and send Soul to prison. Do the right thing and put an honest officer in prison for doing nothing more than thinking his quartermaster was on the level. Soul's not the only one either. Zuri, Alphonse, and the others. Fine, you bastard. I'll keep quiet. T -t That's not a good attitude to have. Here, have some steak to cheer you up. Major. Don't worry, little one. The Major was just overreacting. She's not going to send you to jail and, uh, we'll be happy to have your gift. Really? <sighs> Let's get back to our lab. I promise to spend some special time with you. <laughs> Bye. Ugh. Ugh, that... That doctor is just... Ugh. <laughs> I really don't like him. I couldn't send Soul to prison. He looks out for me, and I look out for him. We're a team, but I should have. My job means I have to do things like this. Can't even do this one simple job right. Those idiots back at Academy are probably laughing their heads off right now. I should have never allowed emotions into my equations. Okay, guys. I think this is as good a place as any to end off the episode. So, if you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys for the next episode of Rising Angels Reborn.